if you aren't a better writer today than you were yesterday, you're a damn fool. <laughs> aren't we supposed to learn from experience? <laughs> I think so. There's one of my favorite photos up there. Uh, we have a mutual admiration society with Paul Volcker. Yeah, these are the two geniuses you see. <laughs> this is a wonderful broadside from the Battle of the Nile. You'll see Admiral Nelson, and there he is, his flagship vanguard off the mouth of the Nile. And that gave me the, uh, it's the first time I ever encountered the name. This great battle, this beautiful dispatch to the Admiralty. A uh, list of all the um, shifts, in the, uh, shifts of the battle given to me by one of my greatest mentors, Brooks Hoffman, MD. Should have put MD on there. Um, who was my predecessor as chairman of the Board of Player Academy. Here's the uh, first edition of Time 100, right there, where I was voted one of the world's most influential people. And if you believe that, I will tell you two little ones. But it was very nice of them to do. And I'm right there with uh, David Beckham, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Tiger Woods. <laughs> How about that? For a list. What else have we got? The Stanford students came here to see me. Brought me the football. I handed it in big enough to hold it. And we had a nice time together. They came all the way across the country to be with me because I couldn't go out there. I've got some of my honorary degrees in the wall. And I think I have three more that I haven't hung yet. I've been too busy to get them hung. I've only had them for four years. And uh, there are the two prints of Vanguard, who I found in this book of naval history, uh, the Battle of the Nile, the origin of, of um, the name for, for us. Vanguard was the flagship. So that was you know, a lot of luck encountered in my life. And every little dot, every little thing turned out to be a meaningful event. There's the Duke of Wellington with his horse Copenhagen. And uh, at the Battle of Copenhagen, by the way, I don't think it has anything to do with the horse except the horse was named after it. One of the great battles, and that is where he created the great expression. The Admiral said, we're withdrawing from the, from the battle. And Nelson, who lost an eye somewhere along the way, turned a blind eye <laughs> to the message and kept right on and won the, won the naval battle. <laughs> I mean, these are great stories, great man. Uh, there is me in the guise of Admiral Nelson. What are they going to think of next? And there is the only meeting between Wellington and Nelson. And the Admiralty waiting together. They met each other very briefly. And uh, I think, is this me or? No, this is David. Uh, we have this great um, relationship. David Swenson runs the Yale Endowment. A superb human being. And of course, he's rewritten the book on how college endowment funds run. Turns out nobody can copy him very well, except for Princeton, which has done a great job, too. Someone framed this picture from the New York Times, a big two-page article in the New York Times a few years back, and they called it the Norman Rockwell picture. Does that look like a Norman Rockwell picture? <laughs> Stay the course. Press on regardless. <laughs>